What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I get a lot of questions asked about CJ and Rondo number nine, which is confusing because the blog world and did this shit about a hundred times. But people were always asking me. I had so many X last night. I'm not sure if something happened. But people were asking me what happened between them. Um, I thought you guys been watching the YouTubes. You should already know. But in my opinion, I think we kind of made a mix up of this. I think C Day wanted to expose Rondo Number no. Nine, right? But I think Rondo Number no. Nine got so much love in the hood from the shit that he even did in his past that the homeboys tried to cover it up. You know, um, Rondo didn't single handedly say C Day did anything. He didn't point him out. He not in the transcripts. He not in the paperwork. But his lawyer did do some behind the back shit that I think is a little weird by trying to tell the judge they made a mistake by not focusing on C Day, making sure that the world knew that he was the sole shooter himself. Um, in my opinion, either you know what happened or you don't know what happened. Ain't no in-betweens, you know. To throw your homie under the bus like that is a little weird because, first off, when Shark on Land did that weird stuff to just blow, y'all got the transcripts, y'all got the body cams and all kind of stuff, so I'm pretty sure you knew what Rondo Lawyer was on. LeDirk knew what the lawyer was on. King Von knew what the lawyer was on. Chief Keith knew what the lawyer was on and E Day knew what the lawyer was on, even though he went on Vlad TV and made up lies saying he seen the paperwork and Tay 600 told on Rondo when in reality Rondo told on your brother. But he didn't tell on him, but he did some, you know, behind the back shit. It's a little weird to me. But at the same token, I want to be honest. If C Day is booked, they got fingerprints, they claiming they got cell phones and all kind of shit, right? Why not get Rondo number nine an opportunity to fight for his life so he can go home? You are already booked. Why not get that brother a chance to go home? He didn't point you out. He not in the paperwork. His lawyer just saying, hey, y'all know who did it. See what you're bringing my homie in for. Y'all know who did it. I'm not going to lie. It's, that is a little weird. But at the same token, bro, if they finna give you 40, 50 years and Rondo got a chance to fight for his life without doing this here, why shouldn't he have the option to do that? So I understand that. A lot of y'all might say, no, nah, that's for the civilians. And I get that. But I tell people, a lot of this shit is fake, bro. This is not real. When you in that gang shit, you either going to go to jail, get killed. You might even go to jail for a murder you didn't commit that somebody else committed. But you got to go do the time. You can't tell. I see a lot of people saying uh, D. Rose locked up for something he didn't do. Well, unless D. Rose is willing to tell the judge, this guy did it. I know he did it. I seen him did do it and try to get some evidence to prove he did it, bro. You going to go to jail for that. You got to remember, ain't no loyalty in this street shit, bro. It ain't, it's getting dangerous and dangerous. It looks like C. They got his appeal paperwork going. So it looks like somebody's on his team because appeal paperwork costs a lot of money. So I'm not sure if it's Dirk Nim or Keith Nim or maybe just his family that's paying for him. But if you ask me, I feel like maybe Lil Dirk got his hand in on this because all of a sudden he apologizing to Rondo number nine. See, they telling the world Rondo didn't tell and all this stuff here. But he wasn't doing that for Tay 600. Because nobody cared about Tay 600. So if you ask me, either King Von, Rondo, Chief Keith, somebody that has a higher influence, somebody that has, you know, a credibility, maybe a brand builder is paying for C. Day Lawyer because he clearly is taking Rondo out of this shit and making it look like he never did nothing. So um, I'm actually studying this case because I got some more information I want to tell you about this appeal paperwork. But I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Remember, I don't want no donations from you. You keep your own donations. Go get some donuts. Like I say, go get the chips with the cheese and the meat. Go get those shorties some little, little hug juices or something. I don't need nothing from you. All I need from you is a like. When you hit the like button, it make my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love. It's the homie truth.